into us. And so I've been enjoying just, um, you know, being with myself, noticing the things that comes up, um, you know, taking time out to journal, to really prepare food and be present, mm -hmm. you know, be so much more present on another level. Um, you know, I feel like this is the time that also shows us what's important in life, um, where we want to put our energy with who we want to spend it with. So, you know, even just calling family and friends, um, it's just such a different level of presence because we cannot just, you know, just go over there and be with them. Um, but, you know, you, you notice that how important these moments are and how important how we live, what we choose to do, who we choose to spend, you know, time with and everything how important it is because we do only have this one life. And in this moment, we are in this, you know, lockdown kind of pause situation, but it doesn't mean that we don't have the chance to then look in and make the changes that we want to change. And I've been, you know, that has brought me so much joy lately, just, you know, diving deeper, um, mm -hmm. you know, unpeeling another layer and, yeah. and looking at that and sitting with certain things, you know, mm -hmm. it's not, you know, a lot of people think I'm, um, you know, it's happy all the time, you know, it's not sometimes, you know, different emotions come up. And I think that's a very good and healthy thing. That's a part of all of us. And um, it's a very, it's a very healing thing to be able to sit with that now, especially, you know, I think we're kind of forced with it uh, to do this. And um, I, uh, there are two ways we can do this, we can either shut down those emotions as they bubble up, by distracting ourselves, which can happen again with food, it can happen with uh, any other substance, alcohol or any other substance, or um, by binge, binge watching something as well. Those are all mechanisms that a lot of us can find ourselves doing because we're bored, but I think it is just inviting for us to actually sit with ourselves, sit with if we are, if you are with somebody else in our, your home, if you're not alone, sit with your partner, uh, reconnect with your partner, and reconnect with yourself. I think this is so important because it's it's an opportunity. And um, pushing feelings away or uh, labeling everything as boredom um, can just um, deprive us from that opportunity to actually grow in uh, to 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 promote self growth in that in that sense. And also reevaluating. I said it before. Reevaluating our priorities. And as you said, reevaluating relationships. Reevaluating basically everything that we do and maybe focusing on, on, on things that are bringing us more joy. If this is uh, cooking food, if this is doing yoga, if this is uh, painting, whatever it is. But now we have this opportunity to do so many of these things. Yes, we cannot travel the world right now, but um, okay. I think we're all invited to do uh, deeper work at this point. Definitely, 100%.